Hello and welcome to another edition of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem, a show where we answer your most pressing questions about the most recent episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, which was The Vulture Mine. All the questions we're answering today came from you guys via our BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page. Uh, we didn't get any questions from Instagram today, so. No, no, we didn't. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we forgot to post it, so. So today is our only from Facebook, just our 60-year-old plus fans. <laughs> First episode of the season. We're still getting everything figured out. Easing into it. We're gonna forget everything about the past seasons. Yeah. Um, not gonna mention any names, but maybe some certain storylines that don't matter anymore. We could probably forget forever. Should I think for the rest of the season, when you do the intro at the beginning, I don't need to do my little animation thing. That's stupid, right? Now. <laughs> I'm glad we're on the same page to begin the season. That's so. It was always just a popcorn man by the end, you know. Here's what, here's, whoo, right out the gate, we're Alice. Gonna, we're starting it off with a big one, right? But here's from Alice Bach, uh, Sizzler from Alice Bach, this week of the Sizzler of the Week. If you pause at 1334 and look right in the middle, you can see a human figure. Or was that a reflection from one of you guys? Let's take a look at this footage. Uh, we are the only ones in this building. Nobody else in the room. This is gonna be insane. If this turns on, I'm gonna lose my mind. Everyone's been tweeting this picture at me. They think we caught a ghost on camera. You know what? They may be right. Well, I'll say this from the still. It looks like we got ourselves a stormtrooper. What? Look at that. You don't see a little stormtrooper there? Okay, now that you've said that, yeah, yeah. maybe, but it to me, more looks like a, a creepy, decrepit uh, woman figure. I see a stormtrooper. I think this is a uh, very compelling. This is a very compelling still. When I saw it over the weekend, I did a backflip. I don't even know how to do that, but I did one. I don't find this very compelling. So you could see in that footage the little the little part that almost looks like the face when that when the camera moves a little bit. You'll notice it moves in tandem with the rest of the light reflections. So I think we're just looking at a lens flare here, unfortunately. We're looking at a light anomaly. Yeah. First off, before I go into that, I went through every angle that we had. We had six cameras going at this time. Mm -hmm. I looked through every angle to try and debunk this. Yeah. We unfortunately only had one angle looking that way, and I believe this is my GoPro. Yeah. That being said, I would say I will go 50-50 in what Shane just said. You gotta admit this is a light. You got a, a bright light source right there. There's lens, you know, there's it flares is, shooting out of it. It is moving at a similar, uh, it's moving similarly to me at this point. Like it's when I move around, the the, the the anomaly is moving. Yeah. However, what if that ghost was just doing a little Simon Says? They're seeing oh, me no, 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 and they're no, just no. mimicking my That's movement. Not what they're it's, doing. Like a, it's like a ghost Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet? That's a Pokemon reference. Oh, I got nothing. This comes from Gianna Shot? Shot? Scott? Shot? I don't know, Scott or Shot? Shot? I'm gonna go, Shot? Shot? This comes from Gianna Shot. Hope that's how you pronounce it. Do you want to <laughs> Wait, so if this city was lawless, how can it also be rampant with crime? Doesn't there need to be laws for there to be any crime? All right, no one. <laughs> oh, she got me. No I one... put that in here because I was like, I want everybody's, I want everyone to go, very good. First off, Gianna, no one likes a literalist. Okay, let's not dance around. That's true, that is. No, no, let's not dance around the details of the language right here, okay? You, ask, you know, look at something else in the episode, Gianna. That we almost caught a ghost on camera. No, you know what, honestly, good to do this. Anyone else out there who notices any inconsistencies in the writing? You just said you don't like literalists. Yeah, but you know, we gotta keep you on, on top of your game, you know? Okay, I could appreciate that. Keep me spry. <laughs> yeah. Keep me spry with the pen. <laughs> Thanks for immediately yeah. folding on Yeah, this no, one. I thought about it and I was like, you know what, you make, you make it made sense. If, I'm run, if I run along unchecked, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eventually decline. You're gonna get lazy. I'm gonna get lazy. You know what, Gianna, I take it back. Thank you for keeping me on my toes. I did a complete 180 here. All thanks to Gianna. <laughs> thanks for that sizzler, Gianna. <laughs> Here's, I didn't get this whole question. I missed the PS. Oh well. Hey, Here, wait, what the fuck? What, I don't have the PS, what the? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> uh, I didn't get this whole question. Oops. Oh, here's one from Paola Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Here's the question. Here's my question. What would a voice on the audio recordings have to say to get recognition from Shane? In other words, what would Shane have to hear on the audio for him to at least say, I can't explain that. P.S. Ryan, the sound on the audio for... And then it just and says dot, heard. dot, dot, see more. <laughs> Shane screenshotted your question, Pella, and didn't get the P.S. He didn't click see more. Nah, we'll it's see. It's just a screenshot <laughs> that says see more. Oh, well. <laughs> 
What the hell? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of that comment will remain unsolved. Here, here's what I want out of an EVP. Criteria one is that I know what it's saying without you having to tell me they're saying uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Oh, wait a second. And two, I want to hear it with with no prompt mm -hmm. and me saying, yeah, so what? It's a person talking. EVPs aren't going to be like me and you talking right now. It's not going to be like, hey, do you listen to Huey Lewis in the news? It, takes it would be like, hey, you ever listen to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said, and this is, by, I'm quoting, I'm quoting you said, this is you two minutes ago. Yeah. You just said, I'd like to understand and know what it's saying before you tell me what it's saying. Yeah. You did that. In this episode? You did. Listen to the, listen to what word you think this is saying. I think it's pretty clear what it's saying. What? What? I, I guess I could hear a what? Which here's is. Here's the thing, Ryan. Here's, no, here's the thing. I'll tell you the oh, thing. I, I can't wait to hear I your have thing. A thing. You hear my thing first. And I'll, I'll hear your thing, thing. Okay, first. Yeah, so the thing is, thing. if you hear something and you guess the word it's saying, it inherently will then be a human sound. Yeah. Now let's hear your thing. My thing is I don't give a shit. Let's go to, well, this is a fun name, Trisha Branco Barber. This is hysterical. I'm an intuitive and my daughter is watching this show. The two guys have a table set up with a box on it waiting for something to happen. The earthbound spirit was standing next to the guy in the red and black flannel shirt. I think that spirit was having the last laugh. A lot to unpack here. Do you think she's ever watching like, you know, The Price is Right? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do you think she's ever actually watching a motion picture yeah. where they shot in a haunted location? And she's like, oh, there's a, another character behind Christian Bale. Who's that? Does he have a backstory? Oh wait, it was a ghost. And does she watch movies with ghosts in them like Poltergeist and think it's just a very confusing movie? Quick, I, I guess, end of conversation disclaimer here. Uh huh. We know nothing about intuitives. I know I don't, you probably don't too. So we're talking out of our ass here. Yeah. If this is how it works and they could just look at things that are already on a pre-recorded medium, like a photograph or a film. Yeah. I That is fucking bonkers. So I think Trisha Branco Barber, you're gonna have to chime in, you know, chime off. No, don't say that. <laughs> on our next few episodes if you see any any spooky ghosts around the periphery. She's very cocky about it. She says, <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah. You wouldn't believe it. There's a fucking ghost giving you a wet willy. <laughs> There's a ghost playing a little banjo behind you. You yeah. can't even see him. I'm fascinated right now. Yeah. Uh, this one's from Chloe L. Easterling. That's also a fun name. Yeah, good names. Good names, everybody. I would have loved to see you guys in Old West costumes to, pro to provoke spirits just like you experimented with costumes in, S in the Salem Witch Trials episode. Did you guys ever think about doing that again? Party City has plenty right now. Also, Shane, seeing as how the season premiered on Friday the 13th, do you give any substance in believing in Friday the 13th? Hashtag Shaniac, thank you. After Salem Witch Trials, I know we could flash back to that right now. Yeah, let's, look, let's take a look at the quality of those costumes. All right. Well, I feel good. There's no look... pockets on this. I don't know what to do with my hands. You don't look too happy. Come on, ghosts! You could tell, just looking at this footage, and you're seeing it right now, that this is a, that's a felt hat. Uh, my belt actually broke. Yeah. We had truly planned on, on getting really nice costumes for that and wearing them for mm -hmm. the duration of the investigation. Yeah. But when we realized how impossibly stupid they looked, <laughs> we decided, Maybe not. <laughs> the same thing kind of happened here. We wanted to get legitimate cowboy outfits. I'm talking leather, uh, leather chops or chaps. A, a big leather duster. Nice looking guns that could maybe fool a ghost. Yeah. Uh, we just didn't have the Some funds. Spurs. <laughs> spurs, yeah, okay. Yeah. I guess he thought about it a little bit more than I did, but we didn't have the funds. Oh, one of those little wine skins. They get it, they get it. No, they get, they, get, they don't need any more. So yeah, so we didn't um, didn't pull the trigger on that. We didn't have a yeah, cowboy yeah, 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 we got it. Uh, we didn't have the funds. Uh, and yes, I do believe in Friday the 13th because it happens pretty regularly. Uh, what do we got next? Flo yeah, Mac. Yeah, Flo Mac. The ghost noise wasn't a whisper. It sounded like metal being scraped against stone. I agree. <laughs> so matter of fact. I know. There's no exclamation to this at all. It's just I, periods. I love how Flo Mac does business. <laughs> in fact, we got two uh, whispers. We had one. Yep. In the in the room at the assay building, we can show that now. Yeah, show that. Our audio recorder picks up what sounds like a loud whisper. <laughs> now, what do you think that is? Well, 
I think it's a whisper. That one pretty good. Of the two whispers we got, this probably isn't the most compelling. Let's go to the next one. Our audio recorder picks up what sounds like a whisper from a small child. And dirt. Again, I don't find it compelling. That's us in the kids' room also with the door compelling. opening. Happens, one chain opens the door that was opening by itself. That one's pretty compelling to me. That one actually sounds like a kid. Um, it has a breathy quality to it. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, Flo Mac. Uh, I guess Shane, Shaniacs. That, <laughs> that's the smirk on your face. Don't worry, guys. We're good. Uh, next question from Jessica Aguilar. Next time you guys go to a place where children's spirits might be, try bringing a little toy. I've seen in different supernatural shows that they sometimes do that to make the child more comfortable. Just an idea. Love you guys. Heart, heart. Yeah, that's actually a, a pretty solid idea. We've done that a couple times. We did it with Timmy with the blue little ball. Ah, uh, yes. They're called trigger objects. Mm -hmm. They're used to make uh, the spirits a little bit more comfortable. Maybe they'll be a little bit more active because of that. Uh, we, we do do that later in the season. Later in the season. Um, but do you think in the future, maybe we should just bring a whole backpack full of uh, pogs and- uh, Props. Have a bunch of just little gadgets and trinkets that go together. Yeah, you'd be the toy man. Yeah, or it could be full of like, you know, fake pistols. I was, I all grown up ghosts want pistols. Well, in this pl in this scenario, they would want oh, a pistol. Okay. I thought you just meant any location. You no, know, I meant to. like, I would any have- Any ghosts, you want some guns? Uh, this comes from- <laughs> This comes from Matt Walker. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, I think you might be a psychopath. You need to choose. <laughs> You need to chill. Shane, you are cool. Well, I can't imagine why Shane chose to pick this question for me to read. What, what, what is your thought process this to having this be on Ryan the show? was running late today, he couldn't pick the questions, so I picked all the questions. Big yeah, deal. so you, so Shane picks the questions. Big we deal. get this one question that's not complete. <laughs> we get one question that's not even a question, it's a statement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a declarative statement saying, Ryan, I think you might be a psychopath. You need to chill. Shane, you were cool. Man, you did some, you really dug through the trenches here to you get You weren't here. I had to pick them myself. You unearthed some gems. You did a mining operation of your own here. Yeah, I found, found some gold nuggets, you, baby. These are nuggets. You this know week what? it's all nuggets. Us Bugaras, up. us Bugaras, we got thick skin. We don't need to take little cheap shots to the bow like this guy just did. Uh, your torpedoes are just bouncing off my rough exterior right I'm now. not even, I'm not firing torpedoes, I'm just having a blast. I think you just did. Lisa Porcho <laughs> says, the plague spoken of could have been consumption, known today as tuberculosis. Yeah. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not a good question? No, I think, well? I think it's good. All right. All right, moving on. Another great name here. This comes from Josephine Jericho. She didn't seem more at awe and Ryan more daring with provoking the ghosts this episode. Why is that? Was I in awe? I don't really remember being in awe at this place. I was kind of marveled by the town itself. I think, you know what? I think I'm just getting a little bit braver, to be honest. There are situations that I still am very uncomfortable with when I'm like, when I have to be in a lockdown or when I have to go into a small space. Uh, there's certain rooms that make me feel very uneasy. Yeah, um, I, you couldn't get less braver. You know, you couldn't get less brave at this point. It's just starting from zero. Sure. So, yeah, I'll just take, I'm gonna spin to... that as a compliment. I'm just going up. Ryan, what do we have coming up next week? The second episode of the season, very exciting. What do we got? We got something that goes way out there. Oh. But it's gonna be a fun one. He's not gonna be here next week. He's gonna be on vacation like a douchebag. He's already dressed for vacation. Look at him. Oh shit. He's got the Hawaii shirt on. <laughs> He's got the sunglasses. Oh, All he needs is baby. a little tiki tiki rum rum. Up here, I'm already gone. <laughs> Uh, that does it for this episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved Postmortem. Make sure you watch the episode on Friday and then send in your questions to the BuzzFeed Unsolved Facebook page and the BuzzFeed Unsolved Instagram. That does it for this episode. Hey, See you and, guys and next while week. while we're there, have a little uh, ghost go by. He's just a little cowboy ghost though. He's got a little cowboy hat and he's just flying right by. That's fun. That's fun. That's the end of the episode, right? Yeah, is that good enough? Yeah. Wait, there's no more hot dog. Oh, you want more hot dog? No, 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 that's it. I thought I had to I'll, wrap it up quick. I'll, uh, no, 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 no. Based okay. on that feedback. The hot dog okay. is dead. Like you said, it's more, dead. More hot he dog. He buried okay. it. Hey, Ryan, I like your shirt. Thanks, I like yours too. Thanks, buy it here.